Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and this is my review of the Sanyo Zacti VPC FH1 camcorder. Now in this video I'm going to be doing a full unboxing for you, as well as a full review of this product, and in addition I will be uh, editing in some actual footage throughout the review taken with the FH1. Now I should also mention that whilst I've had this camcorder, I've taken the opportunity to actually record some of my other reviews with the FH1 to give you a real flavour of what it can deliver. Now those reviews are the Ipivo Kaleido R7 digital photo frame, the iOmega screenplay director, the NEC NP510WSG projector, the UR Go and UR Plus review, the Cooler ebook reader, and the Acer Liquid Mobile Phone Unboxing. Now, those reviews are not yet on my channel, but if you check back over the next week or so, you will see those reviews, and they were all shot using the Sanyo Zacti FH1. So, on to this video, and let's see what you get inside the box of this particular dual camera. Now, when I say dual camera, it's because it records video at 1920 by 1080 MPEG-4 AVCHD H.264 files, but it also takes 8 megapixel stills in JPEG format. So Sanyo call, call it a dual camera, because in fact it does two different tasks. Now inside the box we get the Zacti software CD, which includes Nero 8 Essentials, Arcsoft Panorama, the screen capture application and also the instruction manual. You do also get a fully printed instruction manual which walks you around using the device, setting up the various features. We also get a quick guide, again printed, and also some extra information about the HD mode, safety, and also some amendments to the manual. So nice that Sanyo do actually include some printed instructions with the device. Now inside the box itself, we get the Sanyo Zacti FH1 camcorder. Tiny little device, look at that sitting inside my hand. Very, very small, very compact. So I'll take a look at that in a short while. Let's uh, kick on with the uh, actual box contents. We get a USB cable, it's got a micro rather than a mini USB attachment on this end. Normal USB to attachment on this end of the cable. And that's used for either uh, transferring stuff to the device or setting it up. You can even set it up as a webcam so you can connect it via USB to do that. Also in the box, we get a universal uh, voltage power brick, figure eight connector on one end and the connector that goes into the camcorder on the other. And then depending on your country, you will get a different power cable to connect to that adapter. For the UK, we've got a three pin power adapter. And in this package here, we've got some video cables. And as you see, it's a multi-use cable. So we've got uh, a proprietary connection on this end for the HD footage. We've also got um, an S-video connector and some composite uh, video and audio left and right. Just under here we've got a, a couple of attenuators to go onto the cables. We've got a little lanyard there for the um, lens cover. This is the lens cover that I just mentioned. So once that's on the front of the camera here, you can attach it via that lanyard to the camera so you don't lose it. So that clips on very nicely. Good that they include that actually, because not a lot of manufacturers do. A lot of them you just get the uh, camera and nothing to protect the lens. So nice that they provide something. It's very thoughtful of Sanyo. Also in here, we've got a micro USB connector on one end to a USB extension cable. So you can use a normal USB cable with a device if you haven't got the correct connectors on your computer. And just a quick correction, that last video cable I showed you was um, for the uh, standard DEF output. This one here is the uh, 
sort of multi AV out there for high def output and then you've got component connections on the other end so this gets you your high def output to your telly and then that's the box empty so let's show you the camera itself so the camera itself as well as the camera you do get a little remote control for stopping and starting and navigating around your recordings very tiny as you can see everything's miniature in this package but that is the nature of the VPC FH1. Let's give you a closer look at this device. Now on this side of the device you've got the hand grip, very comfortable to use once you've got your hand in there. This adjusts as well, it's got Velcro adjustments inside. Once that's on, very, very comfortable. Around this side of the device, we've got the screen and the screen flips open like so, this is a three inch screen and I've got it set to actually switch on when I flip open the screen. So it's like on standby, um, but basically you can have this uh, to actually switch off completely. So when you open the screen, it doesn't automatically switch on, but for fast use, you can have it so it's on standby and when you open that screen, it actually comes on. So nice, bright three inch display and um, it's not touch screen but it gives you various information you can see here i've got it set to capture eight million pixel stills uh, got room for three thousand eight hundred and sixty four on the sd memory card i've also got it set to full super high quality 1920 by 1080 capture at the moment and again on the 16 gigabyte card that i've got in here i've got room for another hour and 53 of shooting. It's warning me that I could experience some camera shake uh, purely because of the uh, brightness of the, the room at the moment. Here we've got some connections and the on off button. This is used to obviously power the camcorder on and off. We've got that micro USB connector. We've got that component AV output which gets you your standard def to those composite uh, connectors or the high def to the component connectors. We've also got an HDMI socket, so you can output via HDMI, although they don't include one in the box. Under this little flap here, this is where you put the SD or SDHC card. Um, I would recommend you use an SDHC one, a high speed one, perhaps a class six, because you're capturing high def footage. Let's pop round to the front of the camera before I show you the back controls. Here we've got uh, two mic pickups, we've also got the little LED flash light that's used for both video illumination and, and also for if you're taking still photos. The lens itself, nice controls on the back, they actually fall in exactly the right place. Um, you've got an input here for the uh, power adapter um, and you can use the camera while it's powering the battery. The battery is stored under here You've got a little sliding switch here which will eject the battery out and the controls are very very easy indeed um, if i push this middle one actually it will switch the camera back on and this middle one switches between recording and playing this one here takes a still photo and this one here sets the camera recording so it's like one push to start the recording and the display changes and so it shows that you're recording something and then one push again to stop the recording and the display goes to black every time you do that. We've also got a menu button here. So if I push the menu button, I can get into the camera's menus and then I use this little joystick control on the side here to navigate through the menus. I can go to the left and I've got various menus here. So it's, re it's very well organized actually. The top three are recording menus. So if I go into the number one menu, I can change the quality of the video and I can go all the way down to lower resolutions and all the way up to full HD uh, 1920 by 1080 60 frames per second. Uh, so very, very good uh, selection of choices. If I push the menu button again on the controls here, it goes back out one section and here I can change the photo quality, the scene select mode, filters, flash, self timer, I can push left and go down to recording menu two. Yet more options here for video and photo stabilizers, 
different focus modes. And then the third recording menu, white balance exposure, face chaser, because it's also got face recognition. There's also slow motion playback on this as well, which is very nice addition to the uh, camcorder. And then if I go down one more, then I'm into the options menu. So rather than recording settings, this is really settings for the configuration of the camera. Things like clock setting, the startup display. Uh, let's go back into that menu because it jumped out of it. Uh, post view, beeps. Um, I've got a second option menu which does shortcuts, noise reduction, image settings, brightness. And then I've got TV output, power save, format the memory card. So lots and lots of um, options there. Let's go back into uh, the recording uh, setting here and I'm going to just push play and this brings up a gallery of some of the recordings I've already made and you're going to have a little sneak peek here at some of the reviews I've been doing. Let's pop into uh, this one here and if I push the uh, center button again it actually will set that particular one playing back and then I can pause by going up, I can play again by going up again, I can stop by pulling down, I can select a different one to play back, hit the, hit the middle button again and it starts it playing back again. I can skip through at two speed or at five speed or at 10 speed or even at 15 speed and then hit that middle button again to start it playing back again. So nice and easy to use. I can also delete things from the memory card. And uh, when I've watched enough, I can just pull down to stop and it goes back into that gallery view. I'm recording this review of a different camera. I'm using the Sanyo Zacti VPC FH1. So if you've seen my unboxing and overview of this product, you'll get an idea of its video recording capabilities. But I'm actually recording this with the Sanyo Zacti VPC FH1. Uh, it's not my normal camcorder, but I'm using it to uh, show you the quality that you can achieve with this camera that I reviewed recently. Now, this looks like, I'm sure a lot of you will agree with this sort of click wheel type control down here, it looks like a big iPod, but it's far from an iPod. It is actually an electronic book reader. So back out to the main menu, I can choose to delete or I can uh, adjust the volume or protect that particular recording. And if I push menu again, it goes back into that gallery display. So let's push the uh, middle button and it goes back into recording mode. And one of the controls I forgot to show you was just on the top of the camcorder. There's the little rocker uh, switch here, which is for zooming in and out. Uh, it's a very smooth, very progressive action when you're zooming in and out. And also just below this rocker switch, there's a little red LED. And when you're recording something, it actually flashes to show that you're in recording mode. So a great deal of feedback from the camera. All of the controls are wonderfully placed. And I think it really is surprising what you get for your money. The um, battery supplied with it is a uh, 1900 milliamp hour battery. So you get two hours of recording from a full charge. Uh, as I say, it records direct onto SDHC card and supports up to a 32 gigabyte SDHC memory card. The photos are good. They're more than acceptable. They're not going to be as good as you get from a dedicated camera, like a digital camera just for taking photos. But to have the eight megapixel camera uh, in here for stills um, photos, is an added bonus, really. Uh, concentrating on the video footage, in my personal opinion, I think the HD footage is awesome. It's got great colors, good detail, and the only slight letdown is low light performance. But I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, you're gonna see some footage from this in this review. You're gonna see some of my reviews over the next week actually taken with the FH1. So I'll let you be the judge of how good the HD performance is on here. Um, personally though, I've been very impressed. Uh, this little FH1 is available in black or gold. It'll cost you as little as £330 in the UK or around about $400 in the US. I think for the money, that represents fantastic value for money. Now, 
This has been my review of the Sanyo Zaxi VPC FH1 camcorder. Thank you very much for listening. Come back soon and check out more reviews on the Geek and Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by ProPorter.com, who design and manufacture a whole host of accessories for your mobile devices, including PDAs and smartphones, MP3 players and iPods, laptops, GPS devices and gaming units.